So there's all this talk about whether the core, having a strong core is important for low back pain and whether or not the research supports a strong core for uh, preventing or limiting low back pain to me is almost irrelevant because what I think is most important is that if you know how to use your core and you understand how, how using your core as a supportive mechanism for your spine, if you can understand that, then you can at least tap into mitigating stress that goes through your spine. The simplest example of this is when someone bends forward, so they go into forward flexion or a hip hinge type of movement, we know that the posterior chain, the glutes, the hamstrings, the paraspinals, everything on the back side of the body needs to hold you upright. And so that's one direction that the spine needs to move. Oftentimes low back pain is due to extension and or twisting movements of the spine too. And if we think about forward flexion as the posterior chain supporting the body, then anything that is side bending, extension, and rotation is going to be more the anterior chain that supports the body. And if you think about the anterior chain primarily as, as your core mechanism, and then maybe the hip flexors and the adductors on the front of the hip, the better you understand how to use those muscles, the more that we can mitigate stress that goes through the low back. Now, mechanical stress by itself might not be a sole cause of pain, but it for sure, it sure as hell is a trigger for um, understanding where the sensitivity of the spine goes. So if I am standing here and I bend backwards, what is holding me upright is the position of my core and the ability to anchor through the movement here. If I rotate, it's going to be my oblique muscles that help support my body into that rotation. If I just let my body drop back, then I load the facet joints, I put extra pressure to the SI joints, um, but understanding the importance of the core and really how, if you know how to use your core to support your back, that can help mitigate so much low back pain. Now, with that being said, we know pain is complex. It's, it's multifactorial. Um, but the more that you can get someone to understand the mechanisms of how their body works, and of course, the other aspect of pain, then that's how you can really hit both the top-down approach to treating pain and work on the bottom-up approach of understanding how to better utilize the leverage of your body to also minimize the mechanical stresses that go through the body.